Welcome back to Future Medicals. As expected, getting into deemed universities in round three was much more difficult compared to round one and round two. Do you know that some of the medical colleges, the cutoff has increased as high as 180 marks compared to round two and round three. In the previous years, we used to have a lot of NRA vacancies that used to be converted to management quota seats. Surprisingly, this year, there was only one seat that was vacant under NRA category that was converted to management quota. So it's not a good picture to look at the cutoff marks for round three in deemed universities. But anyway, I will show you how it is important for you to get into deemed universities either in round one or in the worst case round two, right? If you are going to wait until round three, you are going to lose a lot of good opportunities which might have been available to you in round one or round two. Come, let's look at the round three cutoff for deemed universities that is deemed slash paid quota or management quota. And I will show you college wise, we will also compare the cutoff marks, the difference between round one, round two and round three. And then what is the drop from round two to round three? I will show that. Come, let's get into the details. So I'm showing you round one score, round two score, round three score. And round three, I have also shown you the All India rank. I have hidden the round one All India rank and round two All India rank just for minimizing a lot of information here. So round one score, round two score and round three score I have shown you. And then round three All India rank I have shown you for reference. I've also shown you the difference between the round two score and round three score. And finally, I have also shown you a visual clue. The red color means the cutoff has increased. Green color means the cutoff has decreased from round two to round three in that particular college. As you could see, most of the colleges, it shows red. That means most of the colleges, the cutoff has increased from round two to round three. So let's start from the first college. Uh, there is no prize for guessing the first college. It is KMC Manipal. KMC Manipal, round one, it closed at 635. Round two closed at 635. But round three, it has gone up by five marks and closed at 640 marks. So there is an increase of about five marks from round two to round three. The second college is Hamdad New Delhi. Uh, it increased by 10 marks and closed at 630 marks. At the third place, we have KMC Mangalore. Once again, the cutoff has increased by seven marks and closed at 629. Symbiosis Medical College for Women. This is one of the few colleges where the cutoff has slightly decreased. Of course, if you look at the drop, the drops are very little, whereas the increases in many colleges are huge. Some of the increases are like 100 plus. But whereas if you look at the drop, the drop is almost like less than 10 marks. They are all in single digits. Round one, um, symbiosis closed at 622. Round two, it went up to 625. And round three, it again come down to 622. IMS Campus 2, this is a new college. Probably the candidates are attracted by the fee structure. So in round three, it closed at 614 marks, which is an increase of about 67 marks from round two. Manipal Tata Medical College closed at 612 marks, which is a two mark increase from round two. Rural Medical College Pins Loni closed at 591. Amrita Faridabad closed at 577 marks. It is an increase of 135 marks, right? Amrita Faridabad. If you have gone in in round two, you could have easily got a seat at 442 marks. Anyone who has scored beyond 442, they would have got it. But now, in round three, you see that it is closed at 577. It is a very high score. Then JSS Mysore closed at 573. At 10th position, we have still Lalita Bigay Medical College from Chennai. Normally, Chennai colleges used to be at the bottom. But this time, one medical college from Chennai or one medical college from Tamil Nadu is appearing in the top 10 medical colleges in terms of the round three cutoff. So you could see that the cutoff is 567 marks in round three, which is an increase of 115 marks compared to round two. Once again, Lalita MBA, the attraction is the fee structure. And you could see in round one, it was so easy to get into this college. Just 298 was the closing score. Round two, it jumped nearly 150 marks and closed at 450. And in round three, it jumped another 100, 
15 and closed at 567. So if you have gone in round one, you could see that the difference between round one and round three, it's almost like 270 marks difference. So that's why I keep on telling in all my videos, if you are interested in deemed universities, round one is your best option, right? So at number 10, we have Lalitambigai Medical College in Chennai, which closed at 567. At number 11, we have MGM Medical College, Navi Mumbai, which closed at 566 marks. Kalinga Institute, Bhuvaneshwar closed at 556. Datta Mega Medical College, Nagpur closed at 552. This is probably the college with the highest increase in terms of cutoff compared to round two and round three. Round two closed at 372 and it has increased by 180 marks in round three. Datta Mega Nagpur. Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College, Belgaum closed at 549. It has dropped slightly, but only by four marks, not a big drop. MGM Aurangabad, again, there is a drop, but just by two marks and closed at 547. IMS Bhubaneswar Campus 1 closed at 547. EMGM Vashi closed at 544. EMGM Nerul, which is a new medical college, closed at 539. KS Day Mangalore closed at 537. There is a drop, but just by one mark. JR Medical College, which is again from Tamil Nadu, and this is a new medical college just starting this year, and the closing score is 533 marks, and that's an increase of 131 marks from round two. So you could see that colleges that are offering lower fees has much more attraction, irrespective of whether they are new college, old college, people are still going for colleges with low fee structure. That is what is shown by colleges like IMS Campus 2, Lalita Ambihai, JR Medical College. All these are colleges that have less than 20 lakhs per year fees. And you could see that they are having a higher closing score than what normally we would expect. At the 21st position, we have Samitha Medical College in Chennai, which has an increase of 125 marks and closed at 529. SDU Kolar closed at 527. JG Triple MC Medical College in Hubli closed at 517. Sri Siddhartha Tumkur closed at 515. Dr. D.Y. Patil Kolapur closed at 514. BLDE Bijapur also closed at 514. Bharati Vidyapit Deemed University Pune closed at 502 marks. Enipoya Mangalore closed at 488 for the deemed slash paid seats quota. Uh, of course, I'm not um, looking at the Muslim minority seats here. Sri Siddhartha T. Begur closed at 481. And at the 30th position, we have Sri Ramachandra Medical College Chennai, which closed at 479 marks, which is an increase of about 53 marks compared to round two. This college now offers seats at 30 lakhs per year. Still, students are very much interested in the college. At the 31st position, we have Mallaredi Institute of Medical Sciences, uh, Hyderabad. This is a new deemed university or maybe like it is converted to deemed university status in only in round two. In round two, it closed at 381 and round three, it closed at 470 marks. SBKS uh, Gujarat, it closed at 465 marks, just a drop of one mark compared to round two. Meenakshi Medical College, uh, the cutoff has increased by 135 marks from 325 to 460. Mallaridi Medical College for Women, once again, it started admission only in round two. It has closed at 445 marks. D.Y. Patil Navi Mumbai closed at 443. Wales Medical College, another medical college from Tamil Nadu. It has closed at 147 marks higher than round two. In round one, it closed at 160. Round two closed at 295. And round three closed at 442 marks. 135 marks increase in round two, 147 marks increase in round three. So overall, you could see that nearly uh, 280 marks increased from round one to round three. MM Institute Mullana closed at 437. Amrita Kochi closed at 434. ACS Medical College in Chennai closed at 433. Rajarajeshwari Medical College Bangalore closed at 423 marks. At the 41st position, we have Vinayaka Missions Medical College, Karekal, which closed at 422. Chettinad Medical College in Chennai closed at 410. JLN Medical College, Varda closed at 410. Geetam Vishakapatnam closed at 409. Krishna Institute, Karat closed at 408 marks. SRM Medical College in Chennai closed at 398. 
Arubadai Vida Medical College at Puducherry closed at 395. Graphic Era Institute closed at 388. BV Deemed University Sangli closed at 385. At the 50th position, we have Vinayaka Missions Medical College Salem, which closed at 376 marks. At the 51st position, we have Santosh Medical College Ghaziabad, which closed at 335 marks. Mahatma Gandhi Medical College Pondicherry closed at 329. Sri Satya Sai Medical College in Chennai closed at 328 marks. Dr. D.Y. Patil Medical College Pune closed at 328. Bharat Medical College in Chennai closed at 319. Sri Balaji Medical College closed at 302 marks. And the last college in the list is Sri Lakshmi Narayana Institute Puducherry, which closed at 293 marks, which is an increase of 107 marks. So if you look at the round one final cutoff, 147 was the final cutoff in round one. In round two, it has increased to 186. And in round three, it closed at 293. So people who are waiting for round three, they might be highly disappointed because from round one to round three, there is 150 marks increase for the deemed universities. So probably this is a lesson for candidates who are participating in the counseling in the future, maybe 2025 or 26, keep these in mind. Deemed universities, generally the round one is the easier round to get a better college rather than waiting for round two, round three or stay round. So please don't wait for stay round. The vacancies may be very little. Uh, so it's not a good idea to wait until stay round. If you get some seats in the state counseling, better take it. Because if you are going to wait for stay round, we don't know how many vacancies will be there. There may not be a lot of vacancies. Even if there are vacancies, the cutoff may still increase. So it's a high risk waiting for stay around. So it's always take a safer route. Yes, if you are lucky, you may get in stay around. I'm not saying no, but are you willing to take that risk? If you are ready to repeat need, if you have decided to repeat need, then okay. You can wait, take the risk, go only for good colleges. Yes, you can do that. But if you want to join a medical college this year, Take the seat that comes first. Don't wait until last minute. I hope this information is useful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.